Okay, let's continue quickly from the previous section where we see what is the bash, saw a few commands and then understood how to get help using manuals and also what is escaping and coding. Now let's speak about the shell environment variables. These are environmental variables and this is the shell. These work like just any other variable in any other programming language, the general concept. For example, you can say name is Jody, and then when you want to show it, you can say my name is show the name. You see what we have here. We say name is Jody, and later we say echo dollar name, and it says Jody. Please note, shell is a very, very simplistic, small uh, software. So it doesn't do comprehensive and complicated uh, interpretation of what you're writing. If you want to create a variable, you should give it a name. Use the equal sign without any spaces, because spaces do have a specific meaning in shell. So name of the variable equals value. If I had a space here, I had to use quotes or escape my space. Name is blah, blah. Then when you want to use it, you will add a dollar sign. So I will tell echo or any other shell uh, command because this is interpreted by shell. When you have this shell, will replace this with Jati. So echo will see echo. My name is Jati. And here I will add a dollar to distinguish this from a normal name if i remove the dollar this is this will be just a normal string my name is name but when i tell it with a dollar i will say replace this with a variable if i do this family family is empty so nothing will go here we don't have a family if i wanted to add it i could do family is geeking and then it would work like this these are the variables environmental variables in bash but bash itself understands some very important environmental variables you can check them with env command if you issue at the end it will show you all the environment variables present at the moment for example shell is being bash your uh pwd is this one i'm in this directory at the moment my log name is jody my login name. my user is jody and some other stuff i have listed some of the important ones here user as you can say is the name of the logged in user pat is very important it will cover later but this is list of directories to search for commands colon separated editor default editor, hist file, where bash should save its history, normally bash history. For example, if I come here and say echo, sorry, hist file, it says, okay, your hist file is com jody bash history. I can say cat, I can replace this, as you know, with tilde, my home, and I'm giving it a... Uh, relative path it says okay these are in your history interesting whatever i've typed in bash is there host name system host name ps1 my prompt so i can say echo ps1 this is my prompt this is called my prompt this is complicated but no don't be afraid this is one of the things that uh, people who are starting linux start uh, playing with it changing it customizing it a lot for example this part says change the color to green this says write the username jody at at write the host name this is the host name then a colon then blah, 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 lots of other stuff based on where you are and lots of other things. You can change it. I can say PS1 equals, I don't know. 
I've changed my prompt. Very hackerish and lovely. Or I can say, change my prompt to welcome dash you username. What is your next command? This became much nicer. Welcome, Jadi. What is your next command? My next command is ls. Or you can be naughty and say uh, ps1 equals nothing. Or better, you can say onset ps1. We unset ps1, so there is no prompt anymore. It's working. I can say ls. I can say cd temp. It's working, but no prompt at all. So I can take my lovely one back or you can run another bash and now you're running another bash inside your bash and you've lost your configuration this is why sometimes we use export if you are in bash and you create a new variable like name is jody and then you run a command inside this command you won't see this configuration if you want to see this you have to export it so I can export name is Jody. And if I run a command now in my bash, it will know that name equals Jody. Otherwise, it won't. Some of the features of bash, UID, home, PWD, shell, and other stuff. It's good to play with them, have a look, check the set. Sorry, I, get, I told you about env. Env will give you all the uh environmental variables some of them changing for example op old pwd where were you before this nice and we have also the set command which show you all the not all not only all the environmental variable but also all your scripts and whatever you have in your bash config so you know about the environmental variables and you can tweak some parts of your bash using them but there is one of them which is very important and that's pat pat is used for finding your commands as i told you uh let me echo my pat first as i've told you when you issue a command like ls in your shell shell checks if this is an internal command if it is it knows about it and it runs it otherwise it will go to your path variable it's colon separated so it will check this directory if there is a ls here it will run it if there is no ls here it will check this directory then this then this and then this and if there is no ls in any of them it will give you an error so if i say garbage it will say garbage command not found garbage was not an internal command there was no garbage executable here there was no garbage executable here there was no garbage executable here there was no executable here and there was no garbage executable here so it gave me command not found that's why path is very important for example if you create some directory for yourself and like a uh, mkdir binaries in your home and you put your executables here. You should change your path. I will say path equals path, whatever it was, and add home Jody binaries, for example. Now I can put my binaries there and they will be run. Please remember, this is only applies to this specific session if you want to make them permanent you have to add them to the files like uh, bash rc and others i have the list there like profile bash rc these are the scripts which are run whenever you enter your bash environment i believe we will see them in other lessons so this was it please note that in the linux world the current directory is not part of the path so if i have an executable called jody here and i issue a command jody i will get command not found because what 
bash does is bash first checks if jadi is an internal command it is not so it will search here search here 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 will search here now it searches here i mean and if jadi is not in any of these it will give you an error bash unlike windows won't search the current directory for executables this is wise why because hacker hackers might abuse this you may create a file called ping in your home directory then create a ticket for your system manager and say whenever i enter my home directory ping doesn't work can you please check and your poor system admin will go into your home directory will run the ping and he doesn't know that he's running the ping in the current directory so it's not a good idea to search current directory for executables it can lead to different issues that's why whenever we want to run a program in linux we say in the current directory run ping if you have a program inside this current directory you saw this if i want to run something i will say ping and it will run ping i can say which ping it says okay i'm running this ping i can say where is ping it says okay i have all these pings in this machine or you can say what is ping and it will tell you ping is what but which ping is telling you which ping is going to be run i can say oh i want to run this ping so i can explicitly tell it opt production xmpp bin ping i'm giving it a absolute path to run now it will run this won't run this that's why if you have an executable in the place you are staying you should say run ping here and it will run this program in this specific directory and i was able to if i was in this directory for example if i was in cd opt i could say uh, run in this directory production bin ping and it would be run so you can give absolute path or relative path but at the end you should point to the exact binary you want to run otherwise bash will go for internal then it will go for directories provided in path and in the last part let's talk about command history as you saw in environment variables bash has a comprehensive command history it is located here echo bash berakhshit sorry hist file and this is the home jadi bash history this is my configuration in bash so if i tab cat this file home jadi bash history it will show you all the commands i put here i have issued part of it is here but the most recent ones are not saved yet because it doesn't want to write to disk all the time to see the recent one you can run the history command it will give you the history of all the commands we have and if i want to run this i can say explanation mark x this let me see wait 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 it's always good to learn x exclamation mark <laughs> sorry it's good we are learning with each other so if i have the history i can say exclamation mark exclamation mark uh 152 and it will run the command number 152 this is one way if i have a command and i just want to run the last command i run i can do exclamation exclamation so it will run the last command or easier you can do a backward search Control r push Control down press Control down and push r and now you have a reverse search 
I can say ping and it will do a reverse search on the ping. If I do another control R here, it will go back. Another control R, it will go back. And you can find what you want and press enter or press control O to write. Another useful one is exclamation mark some text. I remember that I went to temp somewhere. So I can say run the last command which had temp in it. Said, so, oh, there is no such command. Okay, go with ping. So, okay, this is the ping. You ran, you ran the ping. So, this is backward search and running the some text. And always remember this. If you are in a situation that you issued some command and you don't want them to be in history, you can do the hist size equal zero. There are other ways too, but this is one. And you want to, if you want to exit the uh shell just issue exit or control p you remember we messed up our prompt then i ran another bash so i exited from this new bash to my old bash i can exit from here too and everything will be closed hope you enjoyed on the next part we will go to more commands this was kind of boring for me I don't use it a lot. Knowing control R is super useful. Knowing environment variables is good enough. Anyway, you should learn them because you want to be a Linux guru. Be with me.